associate martial arts based out of Hereford. Today we're just going to be discussing some misconceptions about um, self-defense and I've been watching a lot of videos on the internet pertaining to strangling. So we're just going to talk a bit about that. Okay, right. So first thing we're going to talk about is a real ropey uh, technique to do with prevention of being uh, strangled. Okay, I saw it on um, the internet, it was floating around on Facebook, I thought it was ridiculous. Basically, someone's trying to strangle you, and the technique is, just drop your chin, and that will prevent them from strangling you. Okay, so if I can just use your crate, that'd be great. So, one hand, alright, you're going to put it on my throat. When I ask you, I want you to strangle me really hard, okay, really put some effort into it. Uh, I'm going to see if just simply dropping my chin is going to prevent him from uh, strangling, okay? Three, two, one, go! No. No. But if, if he's got you, I'm afraid it's lights out, all right? That is a really poor technique. That is an example of a technique being done after the fact. So he's got you, then you react, okay? After the fact. Another technique that uh, I've I've seen is if someone's strangling with you with two hands, you're going to come up through the center and part those hands, all right? Which is, you know, again, I have a bit of an issue with that, um, and we'll see why, all right? So can you just strangle me with two hands, right? So again, guys, I'm meant to be coming up, separating those hands as he's strangling, okay? So nice and hard, three, two, one, go. Yeah. I... I really struggled with that, and I'm relatively strong for my size, but he's a big guy. Now, if that was a person of small stature, not a chance. If I was bigger than my opponent, you know, maybe I could shift it. But again, if we're looking at these techniques, we've got to think about applying them across the board, all different people, sizes, strengths, etc. So we're going to talk about techniques done before and after the fact now. Now, remember before I said he's grabbed you? This technique, yeah, can work, but not in the way you think, right? So as he goes to strangle me, I'm going to use that technique before he's touched me. So as he strangles, yeah, that's the movement, okay, and right here, I can do something else. Now, there's an example of doing it before the fact. Okay, do you understand that? You know, you're applying it before it happens, not during it happens, and that does work. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to give you an idea of, of a, what, what I kind of think is a really good technique, all right? Again, something that can be applied before the fact or after the fact, all right? So either before he's got you or after he's got you, but um, like any techniques, Guys, it, it, its success rate will depend on how hard you train, all right, and your mentality at the time. But this next technique is going to be good for a double, you know, hand strangle or a single hand, depends, all right. And it's such an easy one; you don't have to be a martial artist to do it. Okay, so from a two-handed uh, throttle, all I'm going to do, simple, just throw, throw your arms up at the same time twisting and we're teaching this right now so he's not putting it on but i'm just wanting you to make sure you get what i'm saying okay so relax arms i'm throwing them up i'm twisting around see my elbow is higher than him now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to step away okay now think about how that works the mechanics all the rest of it your elbow is going to be higher than them but really it's you're throwing your weight sort of centrifugal uh, energy Okay, really easy. And another great thing with this, okay, as you throw away, again, gross motor skill, big movement, you can swing that arm back and you can brush his eyes, you know, poke him, flip him in the face, whatever, and run off, right? So it's a really great, you know, versatile thing. Um, this can work for single hand as well. If he's grabbing you, same thing. Yeah, as I'm moving away, or double hand. You know, and the same principle can be done uh, if he's strangling you from behind. But we'll talk about that in a bit. So now what I'm going to do is I want Craig, I want you to grab me with two hands. 
So we're going to demonstrate two versions of it. The first version is before he's actually managed to grip me. All right, I've recognized it. The second version is after he's gripping and grabbing, okay? So the first one is, he's going to strangle me, and I'm moving, moving out of the way, and he hasn't got power down, all right? So I'm just do, using that big movement. The second version we're gonna do is if you go in position, I really want you to grip and strangle, okay? All I'm gonna do again, throw my hands up, okay, three, two, one, go. Yeah, I've just thrown my hands up, and again, run off, Set, you know, flick them in the eye as you go. It's a technique that can work either before or after the fact. So again, you know, really quite versatile, but guys remember, you've got to train it, okay? This can also work from behind, but you know, I'll, I can't really be running away from him. If you grab me from behind, okay, I want you to strangle, go. I'm throwing that way, but now look, okay, I, can't go that way because my whole body's doing this way. But hey, if I continue my hand movements, I can end up trapping and then I can hit or kick or whatever, okay? So, you know, this movement itself, you know, you don't have to be a martial artist to do it, but just think about it. It's quite versatile and it's a hell of a lot safer when chances are it's gonna work a lot better than dropping your neck or doing that, okay? Thanks, Craig, and guys, I really hope that kind of makes some sense. Um, please get in contact with us at uh, SGN Martial Arts. Give us a like on our Facebook page um, and all that good stuff. We've got a YouTube channel as well, so we'll see you soon.